Oh man, so it's a weird day when Drake gotta come out and address the allegations from a little thotty trying to clout chase. Now this whole situation was crazy right here, but when you got blogs picking stories up, it's like, dang bro, you kinda have to say something. Especially if you, you just bored and you got time and hey, everybody home with their families, the entertainment industry kinda gonna shut down, so everybody got time, they seeing all these things pop up. So Drizzy had to probably just say, listen, let me go ahead and shut this down. Never met, never spoke, never flew. Now listen to this girl story to see if she should have even received any type of attention in the first dang place. Check this out right here. So last month, Drake had flew me out. So I have made a video and I posted it on my Instagram story. It was a video of me inside a purple lingerie set. And I had tagged Drake inside my story, but I tagged him and I like made it real small so nobody could know that I had tagged him in my story. So I did not know that he was gonna even seek it. I'm not even gonna lie. So he had texted me in vanish mode and was like, what's your number? With the hard eyes emoji. So I sent my number quick. So he called my phone, we chopped it up or whatever. And that's when he was like, he trying to see me. And I was like, I'm trying to see you too. So he had booked my flight for the November 16th. Mind y'all, we texting, talking, all of that, November 13th. So fast forward, I got off the plane. He had sent a private out to get me. But before I went inside his house, they made me sign an NDA. So I can't really say too much, but I had looked at my NDA rules, so I know what I can and can't say. You feel me? So when I get in the house, we just sitting on the couch, chilling, talking. He kept on rubbing on my stomach and kept on asking questions like, do you want kids? And I'm like, what you trying to say? Like, if you want, if you want a baby mama me, just say that. <laughs> he just kept on rubbing on my stomach, asking me, do I want kids? I was like, yeah, I want one. I want a little boy. So we watch a movie, we drinking Casamigos, then y'all know Casamigos bring out the freak up. <laughs> so y'all know we did what we did. I don't have to go in detail about that because it's self-explanatory. But he did not use protection, which was a little weird, but y'all know I'm just going with the flow. So after we did what we did, we just cuddling and we're watching another movie. So everything went left when I pulled my phone out. So I had pulled my phone out and I had recorded him. And as soon as he seen me recording him, he slapped my phone out my hand. I'm not even going to lie. I got a little scared because that slap was aggressive. But after he had slapped the phone out my hand, he was like, you got to go. I was like. Just because I recorded you, really. But I have posted the video on my Instagram. All the receipts is on my Instagram. So I don't got time for y'all to be like, I'm lying and all of that. Because what do I have to lie for? Clout. You have to lie for clout. That's why Chick got an Instagram private. And I ain't even to show the Instagram name. Talking about some she finna talk about everything at X amount of time. Make sure you on point for that. No, you're, you're lying for clout and attention. Like, come on, <laughs> that's the number one currency in 2022, headed into 2023. The number one currency is attention. We not new to this, we true to this, man. We know the hell going on. Now this story right here sounds so stupid on so many different levels, because one, she makes herself sound like a dummy <laughs> on several, in several different aspects. One, you signed an NDA, but yet you could tell the full story from beginning to the end like what the hell was on that contract if you had a signed nda because that shit must have omitted every damn thing you feel me everything relevant for you to leave out you put in so i don't get why you could tell the story while being on the nda and then secondly even if you were on this nda even if this did happen you sound like the dumbest chick possible to fumble a bag just by chasing clout and why you got Drake sound like an extreme and extreme widow just rubbing on your belly asking if you want a baby? And she talking about something, what you, if you want a baby mama me, just let me know. Bro, I had a conversation with my nieces this past weekend and, and, and thank God they're not going down this route. <laughs> they're headed in a good direction because what the hell type of type of shit these girls on nowadays man that's crazy but once again drake had to shut all that down by saying never met never spoke never flew i hope people start doing more of the life that we are given shit is sad i chill shit all drake speaking right there now let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comment section below i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here though it's your boy stacy yo